What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple released the third beta of iOS 11 today on a Monday, which means they're back to being normal. At least this week, they're back to being normal and a lot more predictable than they have been over the past couple months. So of course, in this video, we're just gonna be talking about what's new in iOS 11 beta three. There's a lot of new features and I'm still really early on into this. So I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more as time goes on as well. But you can see right here, the software update came in at about 385 megabytes here coming from beta two on my iPhone seven. We'll be back out of this and go into settings, we can see the new build number for beta three. If we go down here, you can see it is 15A5318G. And so when we back out of here, I did notice that one of the new things in iOS 11 beta three, the very first thing I noticed is that the animations are something about going in and out of applications that have already been opened, seems to be either snappier or just a new animation. Something is different but it's a lot smoother and better than it was on beta one or two. And I don't think this is placebo because it's actually the first thing I noticed. It wasn't something I was just digging for and wanting to find a feature. So I just wanna get that out of the way. It does feel smoother and quicker when going in and out of applications, but as far as everything else, it pretty much feels the same as beta two, which isn't a bad thing. However, one of the big bugs from beta two, one of the biggest bugs of any iOS beta is that you could not close applications on the iPad. So the multitasking, when you go and swipe up on an application, it wouldn't close out of it. It was very annoying for iPad users, but that has been fixed in beta three. And not just for the iPads, but now also the app switcher issue with all iPhones and iPods, everything has been fixed. So now you're not gonna have any of those issues that you had with the multitasking and closing out of applications. Because I know that app switcher bug was probably at the top of people's complaints right there along with the iPad users and closing out of applications, not being able to close out of applications. So luckily that's been fixed here in beta three. Also now if we go ahead and swipe down from the new uh, sheet right here, you could see that we actually have earlier today. So that wasn't, there in beta two and it actually shows up right away so you don't have to swipe up after you swipe down from the top so usually you'd have to do like this in beta two and then you'd swipe up and you'd see your notifications but now they pop up right away and you see it says earlier today now here's an interesting one so now when you tap on the wi-fi or the bluetooth here in the control center it's actually going to temporarily disable the wi-fi or the bluetooth so if you remember in beta two these toggles actually just disconnected you from the network and did not fully uh you know turn off wi-fi or bluetooth but now they actually do turn it off except for for select devices. I'm guessing it hasn't really been made clear, but when you go ahead and disable this, let me just go ahead and disable. If we go into settings here and go back and go to Wi-Fi, you'll see that it's still on, it's just not connected and it's not connecting to anything. Now it does the same for Bluetooth as well. And I think the reasoning behind this is due to handoff. So I think it has something to do with the Mac and Apple Watch connections with your device. Apple didn't really make it clear, but I think maybe it's just gonna disconnect from your Wi-Fi network and you know your AirPods or something like that, but it's not gonna disconnect from like your Mac for handoff or your Apple Watch. Once I play around with this for about a week, I'm gonna come back with another video and tell you guys and give you a lot more detail about what this feature is and how it actually works because again, Apple wasn't very clear on it and I'm recording this, you know, just 30 minutes after it got released. Adblock apps now work as they're supposed to on beta three because they did not in beta two. They somewhat worked in beta one, then somehow it got broken in beta two for some applications, but now ad blockers work again in beta three. Now, if we go to the files application, you're gonna notice that we have a new location and it's called OS 10 server. Now, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but if you just click on it, it's just gonna crash because I don't know if it's just not ready for it, if I don't have it set up right or what, but that is a new location and feature here in the third beta of iOS 11. Now going back out into the weather application, you're gonna notice that the weather app looks different. I can't quite put my finger on it, but everything just looks more pronounced. It looks bigger, it looks more, uh, I don't know, it just looks more pronounced and just better laid out than it did in beta two and any other version of iOS in my opinion, because you don't care so much about the degrees. You don't care so much about the temperature it is right now. You wanna see the future cast and that's a lot bigger. You can see down here, uh, you have a lot more details and everything. So I really like the new look of this weather app. Like I said, I can't really put my finger on exactly what's changed, but it looks different than anything I saw in beta one or two. Airplane now works as it's supposed to in beta three. A lot of people reported issues with iOS 11 beta one and beta two with Airplay, but now it's supposed to work fine with third party applications. If we go into settings and then TV provider, you're gonna notice that we have some new TV providers in here. Now, I'm not sure if this was in there before. I don't believe it was, but Comcast Xfinity is now a TV provider here and we have Uverse, and we have multiple new ones in here as well. You'll be able to spot which ones are new based on you know, what you've actually used with this feature. But Comcast Xfinity is new here in beta three. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I've noticed so far with iOS 11 beta three. Again, I'm sure there are many new features with iOS 11 beta three, new features and changes and bug fixes and things like that. 
but that's all I've noticed so far within the first, you know, 30 minutes of playing with it. So again, I'll have a video coming up uh, next week saying, you know, how it's been a week later with iOS 11 beta 3, dependent on if there's a beta 4 next week, which we don't know yet. But you can expect the public beta uh, 2 to come out either tomorrow or possibly even later today. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more videos and a lot more coverage on iOS 11, as well as jailbreak update videos and things like that. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.